Hello, welcome back to Subtech Online. Uh, today I'm going to take you through how we create a fillable PDF. So if you don't know or if you have not used fillable PDF, please stay on this video up to the end. So how does this work? Have you ever wondered when you send a document to someone to fill in their details? Then after that they do, uh, they endorse the document that is like signing, then they have to send that document again to another prover to another prover so at the end of the day you'll find that this document will be printed and scanned many times as they will and at the end of the day you're going to start losing some of the uh, quality of the fonts and the colors and maybe some of the details on the document so um by this example where you have a fillable document this is a pdf you're looking at so which means i'll dictate that here someone should put his name then uh, the next will be a date which should be in the format of uh, that is the date of birth let's say 2020 uh, then uh, here the allergies i have a drop down which it is a selection so on this medical conditions i can pick uh, I can pick some uh, here, medical conditions, I copy paste this here, uh, then uh, I can have the parental uh, contact information, then you can have more notes by the doctor, let's say if it was the doctor, so I can pick more notes here. So at the end of the day, this document is going to be filled and it will remain with all its qualities as a document. So this person will just have to save this and send back. And you can also include where people can sign, where people can attach their uh, photos, all you can. But what do you need first of all? We are going to need uh, two systems or two applications. First is Canva. You need Canva. Uh, Canva is uh, a free source, but uh, you will need to to subscribe and pay a penny of around 12 USDs uh, to make sure that you get all the pro, uh, pro documents. So it is a matter of searching for the type of document you want. I want forms. So I'll get all the kind of forms. So you look out for the form that you need or you need to start off with. So I'll look for out one and go ahead and customize this. So the moment you do the custom, this is the file I need. I'm not going to add anything. You can customize this to your own headers, your own logos. Uh, everything can be customizable. So, or you can even start a new empty document. Uh, and create your own form so you can create a blank form so you go ahead by inserting you your own those uh, text boxes and all name them at the moment for the matter of time we shall go with this so i'll go ahead and download this so on downloading this you have to make sure that you select pdf standard so i'll select pdf standard leave all the others by default download this so I'll rename this as sorry i will rename this as session then go ahead and download this make sure that it is a pdf standard download so just a few seconds it should download I'll put it in my download folder. There we go. Now, the next thing is you're going to look out for another application called Docufile. So you can use any browser. I will include the links in uh, the description to this video. That is www.docfly.com. So this Docfly has many... First of all, in edits, you can do all... You can edit a PDF, you can fill PDF forms, you can create PDFs, you can merge, delete and all that. You can watermark, create a password. But still, 
it is also an open source but you can for further usage and uh, authentic uh, features it gives you must sign up first then after that you can subscribe for only 3.99 if you're subscribing annually or monthly you can do 8 usds so the moment you have uh, done that uh, because if you use a free source you're going to only have three documents and these documents will be only saved for 24 hours which means after 24 hours you lose the the documents so what i'm going to do i'm going to upload my document here so i'll go to my dashboard or the moment you open docfly there is a new file so i'll upload a new file here you can upload from many sources that is dropbox upload from google drive this time we have the file on our pc so i'll go ahead and upload look for it uh, here is the file session go ahead and open that so it will load upload and here is the file so this is the pdf file we are having i'll open that file now the next thing is we are going to start inserting the fillable text and all the drop downs we need so there are three tabs here you're going to use the form creator we are creating a form uh, we are not editing this so but you can go ahead and edit this and insert download but this time we want to create a form which we are going to send to different people and we shall expect them to fill it digitally without downloading it and use pen and paper to write so here we need a name that you'll uh, pick out a text box so that is the text box here you can go ahead and give it a, a size that is genuine you can enlarge this you can choose this to be in the middle which means if someone puts the name it will be in the middle then you can change the font to around 11 change even you can change even the color you want uh, the users to have their inputs in so you can even change this font to a different one but for now let's go with this which means if we go back on edit i can now input uh, there we go you see that's it so which means all users will be having such so we can go ahead and input others from creator now we are inputting the date of birth i can use a date field or a date picker so a date field i'll put it here uh shorten it um have the font to 11 now you can change here the type of date you want so which date do you want i want a dd followed by month followed by year that's it i will select that uh, did i select no okay let's go with this month day and yeah then occupation you can go ahead and uh, add also a text box for everyone to insert their own occupation uh, so I'll go ahead and reduce this to make sure that it fits so the default settings you put they will be the same for every text box you pick then um we can rush now to these uh selections of yes and no most of the case these are checkboxes or radio fields so uh this is the radio field uh, where there is yes and no but this i will do uh horizontal and the choices we already have yes and a no so i can remove those choices and do okay okay uh, let me put the choice and no so go ahead and okay so if i insert this here it will insert the two so you see it inserts both that and this here so i can move to fit that way why because now these ones are paired which means if i go back to edit so the moment i click that it has to 
make sure that it selects one so you can go ahead and insert more ready buttons uh, the trays there uh, this actually was meant to be here horizontal like this so you go ahead and insert others you can even insert drop boxes let's say what skincare products i can insert a drop box here so select that um make this to 11 to your choice then now you can insert here your 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 choices so also an option is click here get the choices so i can get the choice from one of the choices i have here let me see yes you can take this there we go there we go okay so you see there is that uh, so you can go ahead and make more uh, this is delete then copy this okay so nearly they, they they are the same so go underline very well to make sure that they don't flap or, or overlap now that's enough let's go ahead and uh, save this document so the moment you save the document uh it's going to give you an option of exporting you can print export and do all what you need so this time i'm going to download and automatically they tell me i'm remaining with one credit which i'm going to use now because i'm using a free version of it so this i can say session done form this is now the done form go ahead and download that so the moment it is downloaded i'll go ahead and pick it out here we go this is it fillable and boom so this is it i'll open this so the moment i click here you see already it's a bit christopher here we're supposed to type a date in the other format jan uh, 1994 then you see here you can select your radius then there are drop downs you put here you can select your drop downs and there you go so at the end of the day you'll have saved people of time to fill this form you'll have saved the quality of the document and at the end of the day you're going to get all your uh, all your data validated remember now if you have uh, drop downs like this you're validating spellings and everything has to be fine and if you're good at data analysis the moment you capture all these documents they are sent back to you by the way you can use power query to extract all this data into an uh, uh, a spreadsheet for your continued data analysis so Join us in other videos on the same channel Subtech Online for more details on how you can deal with converting PDF into spreadsheets, having this data taken to a spreadsheet to do an extended data analysis for this. Otherwise, uh, if you like this video and it has helped you, please leave a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe such that you can always receive also notifications when we post videos like this. Otherwise, meet you in the next video. Bye-bye.